So next we have, um, I'm going to invite the Catalyst Koha team to come and join me up here. Um, what we're going to do is um, very soon play the Koha Con community video, which we've put together. Um, but it's only a very short video and um, we thought we'd tell you a little bit about how um, our journey of putting on Koha Con and we thought it'd be a nice chance for you to meet the team. So um, you'll meet everyone except for Tosca Wairia, who many of you have heard from um, by multiple emails. You will have seen social media activity from her. If you're here in person, she's done so much of the setup. So before we introduce everyone else, a huge, huge thank you to Tosca. Um, so yeah, I will let the team um, introduce themselves and then we'll lead into the video um, which we've put together. <laughs> I thought we'd do this in alphabetical order. That means we're starting with Alicia. Oh. <laughs> Catch me trying to work out the alphabet in my head. Um, kia ora everyone, my name is Alicia Amul here and I have been a Koha developer at Catalyst for nearly six years. Um, I was uh, first exposed to Koha and open source through the Catalyst Open Source Academy, which if you've been active in the Koha community for a few years, you'll know about, which happens every summer. If you don't know um, about the Academy, then make sure you tune into the live stream tomorrow because Ian, who is the organizer of that and our fellow Catalyst employee um, will tell you all about it. Um, did I need to say anything else? No. Cool, thanks. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Alex and I have been working at Catalyst for almost four years now. I started as a summer intern and continued part-time while I finished my degree and I've been full-time for just about two and a half years. Um, I really enjoy my, int my particular interest in Koha, data migration from other systems to Koha and also training librarians. I really enjoy doing that and I'm really passionate about travel outside of work. So earlier this year I was going to be going to Turkey and hopefully visiting some Koha libraries there, but of course COVID happened and I had to cancel that. But I'd really love to go to Europe and Turkey next year and hopefully visit some Koha libraries there. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tosca and... <laughs> <laughs> no, Tosca's hiding down the back. Um, I'm Chris Cormack and I am the technical lead of the Koha team, um, which basically means I try and get out of these people's way and let them do work and try and stop other people getting in their way as well. Um, what Alicia forgot to mention, she's been taking all the photos, so in the photos you saw yesterday that look really cool on Flickr, she's been doing that. Um, Hayley has been, who's going to be up next, I'm going to steal your thunder, has been in constant communication with Rebecca, who can't be here today because she's back at Catalyst doing the mixing of the live stream and keeping it all switching between us and recorded videos and live online and all that tricky stuff. So, um, And Alex has just been, met, who was on the reception desk yesterday, he's been doing whatever needs to be done. So they're all doing as much and I'm just swanning around as usual, as is my want. <laughs> It's not entirely true. Uh, hi, I'm Hayley. Um, I am the newest developer in the Koha team at Catalyst. I started full-time last year. Um, it was my first job coming out of my Masters of Software Development. Um, before that, I was doing, I did a Bachelor's of um, Linguistics and Teaching English. Um, and I feel very lucky to have found open source technology this early on in my career and very fortunate to be placed in such an awesome team um, and to become part of like such a great community where everyone really cares about um, the software and each other. And yeah, really excited. Um, I hope the rest of the conference is really good for you. <laughs> Thanks team. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason, yeah, we wanted a chance for you to us uh, to meet the um, the Koha team is that um, yeah, everyone's been so busy organising the conference. Um, 
and not just the first time, like the second time and the third time as well, as the the alert levels changed here, and we um, we came after the um, the lockdown in New Zealand, which um, was very short compared to what many of you around the world are going through. Um, after that lockdown, we we held on to the decision to plough ahead with Kohakon. Um, it felt like we really weren't sure at the time if it was a good decision or a bad decision, but we felt that if we delayed it for a year, it still might not happen. And if we delayed it for a year or two years or however long it took, all of the knowledge that everyone had indicated they were willing to share would be lost because in a year's time or two years' time, the stories would be different and other things would be the top of our mind and everything that had happened this last year wouldn't be documented, um, which, of course, as library people, it's just not acceptable. <laughs> So, yeah, we, we carried on ahead, and so for those um, who, who maybe aren't aware, we decided that we would have the conference here at the, um, in the Te Akiwai, um Conference Centre at the National Library of New Zealand, and so we hired this space, particularly um, even when we realised the numbers would be lower, we decided to stay here because we wanted to ensure we could take care of all the technical requirements throughout the conference. And we've been extremely well supported by the team, Mark and Tom up in the, um, the behind the behind the glass in the, um, what do you even call that, the technical control room, have been doing an amazing job supporting us. So thank you both, and, and please make sure you come out and eat the food. Um, yeah, and so also, um, as Chris mentioned, behind the scenes we have Rebecca, who has been, um, running the live stream and um, Rachel who has done our design work for us which we're incredibly grateful for so um, yeah and of course the um, support of Catalyst and all of our other sponsors as well so when we realised that we wouldn't all be here in person we um, we're thinking of different ways for people to be able to experience some of the things that you experience at Kohakon um, in another way. So, of course, the natural one was, well, we can record some presentations. Um, and we've done that, and of course others have done that, and we're so grateful to everyone who sent them in. But we were sad to miss out on seeing more of the Koha community faces. Um, we're really to miss the hallway track with our colleagues who couldn't come, and again, um, a huge thank you and lots of love to all of those who booked their international flights and um, have since managed to cancel, delay or refund them. I hope that's all gone well for you. I've certainly heard of some who've received their refunds, um, but we're thinking of you especially. So without too much further ado, um, we're going to show the community video that we put together. Um, so a little, mm, a few weeks ago, we sent out some emails asking if anyone around the world would be willing to send a small message of greeting to Kohakon to share with everyone here in person and everyone around the world. Um, and so we were really delighted to see the faces and, and hear the voices of our friends and some we hadn't met yet as well. Um, also just want to express my apologies to anyone whose contributions couldn't be included in the video. It was for reasons like when that when it got edited together by um, the videographer, they um, there were certain things we couldn't include. So um, there's I hope there's um, we can find another way of sharing those, maybe through our Twitter or um, or some other means. All right, I'm going to make it um, clear for the lovely Rebecca, who's running the stream, that I'm getting out of the way now, and um, would like to present the Kohakon video.
koutou katoa. No mai, haere mai ki Koha Kon 2020. Hi, I'm Catherine Tyree. I'm a Koha Services Manager at Catalyst IT. Hi, I'm Alicia and I'm a Koha Developer. Hi, my name is Hayley and I'm also a Koha Developer. So together we're part of the organising team for Koha Kon, which we are so excited to be the hosts for. And yet we are so gutted that not everyone can be here in person. So as part of wanting to have a chance to connect and see some more faces from around the world, uh, we have putting together this video. So thanks heaps to everyone who's contributed. Um, and thanks, in terms of the conference, thanks so much to everyone who has pre-recorded a presentation or is planning to get up in the middle of the night to do their presentation, um, has made their way to Wellington uh, to be here as well. And thanks, of course, also to all of you who are watching online. Hi, Koha Kon 2020. I'm Farooq Hussain from Ahan University, Pakistan. I have been working on Koha for the last 10 years. Bye. Thanks. Hello, Koha community. I'm Jonathan, alias Zubu on IRC. I have been a Koha developer for 10 years now. It basically means I spend my day reviewing patches and integrating them into our code base. When I write new announcements, I promise to fix as many bugs as I'm letting behind me. Hello. I'm Jonathan Field from PTFS Europe and we'd just like to send all our very best wishes from the United Kingdom uh, to all our friends at COACON who we won't be seeing this year and we hope you have a successful conference and better times permitting we look forward to seeing you again in the near future. We managed to get all the PTFS Europe staff online and they want to send this message to you now. Hello! Hello. Hello. Peace. Peace. Hello. <laughs> Kia ora everyone, uh, my name is Jacinta Osman and I'm here at our beautiful campus at Toy Ohomai Institute of Technology. Looking forward to seeing you at Kohakon. Bye! Kia ora, it's Rachel Hamilton-Williams here from Katapo Communications on a very windy day in Wellington, New Zealand. Looking forward to seeing some old friends and to making some new ones. Really looking forward to hearing all the stories about how Koha has been used in libraries around the world. Looking forward to seeing you soon. Great, thanks! See you later, bye! Hi, my name is Ana Carolina, I'm a librarian and I'm from Brazil. I work at a school library in Rio de Janeiro called Biblioteca Professor Gilmar Luiz Novaes. Therefore, I want to say hi to all my colleagues that also use Koha all around the world. Bye-bye! Hello KohaCon 2020, I'm Lizette Shear from the Leitao County Library District, headquartered in Moscow, Idaho. Tēnā koutou e te kōhā whānau, huri noa e te au. Greetings to all the kōhā family around the world. My name is Lee and I work at Toi Ohomai Institute of Technology. Myself, Sambunat Sau. Currently, I am working as Assistant Librarian at Indian Institute of Technology, Bhuvaneswar, Odisha in India. Extremely thankful to the kōhā community who has given this beautiful gift to the libraries of the world. Thank you. Greetings from all of us at the McKinney Public Library. We hope you're enjoying this year's Koha Khan. From the Pera State Public Library Corporation, Malaysia. Hello. Koha. Koha Good. Koha Good. Koha Good. Koha Good. Koha Good. Hola a todos. Mi nombre es Tomás Cohen, de Cohen en el IRC. Me encantaría estar compartiendo este festejo y espero verlos pronto. Por favor, disfrútenlo muchísimo y nos vemos pronto. Thanks again for watching and thanks to all who contributed to the video. Kakite!